All right, so <laughs> I'm going to now look at 20. One of the questions where I got the help from somebody I didn't expect to get help from when the first time I learned about this. Okay, so how do you basically get to look at this? Of course, I'm already familiar with uh, whenever dealing with negatives and also fractions, the binomial expansion, assuming that your, you have 1 plus x, and of course x should be um, less than the modulus of 1, and this is raised to the power n. Of course, n in this case is either a negative or a fraction. So what you expect is the formula comes out like this. 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 <coughs> mm -hmm. to factorial x squared plus n n minus 1, n minus 2, 3 factorial, x to the power 3, and so on and so forth. Okay. So this will help us come up with the coefficients in this case. We'll see how. I'll leave just the top part for our guidance. So if this is new to you, watch our video to introduction to binomial expansion. I really explained how this formula comes about and how it simplifies from there. The very general binomial theorem. Okay, so when you say, when you look at the fact that negative 2, comma 4, we're trying to avoid using uh, factorials because these ones can't be, <laughs> you can't, it's, you can't determine the, the factor of a negative 2. So, so we're, we're trying to use the coefficients here. So negative 2, 4. So we understand that, <coughs> some of us understand already to say when you see the value of r being a 4, you expect that x is going to be raised to the power 4 about that point. Okay? So think of what part of the binomial expansion you expect to have x to the power 4. Okay? It's obviously the part we have, we're going to have like 4 factorial on the bottom, right? So how does that look like? So it's going to be like uh, n n minus 1, n minus 2, all the way up to n minus 3. And then on the bottom we'll have 4 factorial. So of course, if it was a 4 expansion, that would be x to the power 4. But we're not interested in the x. We're interested in the coefficient. So we can now substitute understand we've got a negative 2 so the value of n is negative 2 so we've got negative 2 negative 2 minus 1 so I'll be going direct just to simplify faster so what is n I'll be putting negative 2 the first one is going to give us negative 3 the next one is going to give us negative 4 the other one is going to give us negative 5 over 4 factorial 4 factorial implies 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 I just want to divide okay so how does that look like four there it's it's a one three it's a one so at least we have got a two two there it's a one so what's remaining is a negative five so now we have to count the number of negatives we have so one two three four so there are four they give us a positive positive 5 is the only answer I'm remaining with the denominator only one is remaining so yes the 4, 3, 2 are all gone so positive 5 is our answer for the first expansion of the first coefficient and then if we look at negative 1 over 4 so be at liberty of pausing the video and trying this one out. Okay, hopefully you've paused the video and you've tried this one out already. Equally, we'll go up to n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So it will be less, 1 less. So this is 3, we'll just end at n minus 2. And then on the bottom is 3 factorial. I'm sure you've noticed that if you've got 2 factorial, you're ending at 1 on top. So, 
of course this is the part where we expect to have x to the power 3 such an expansion so negative 1 over 4 is our n so negative 1 over 4 we're going to plug it in okay where is n so negative 1 over 4 <coughs> minus 1 what's the value there common denominator is of course a 4 so if I multiply the 4 times the 1 on top there it gives me a negative 4 so I expect that to be negative 5 over 4 yeah and then we've got n minus 2 so 4 times 2 there gives us 8 so it would be negative 9 over 4. If you want to just go by the normal way of adding a fraction, you still get the same answer. Now dividing by 3 factorial. Now whenever I've got fractions on top, I like just multiplying. So divide, we're dividing by 3 factorial. In other terms, what we are trying to do there is, we're trying to multiply by the reciprocal of 3 factorial. So everything on top is being multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 factorial. 3 factorial understand is just 3 times 2 times 1 which is just going to give us 1 over 6 ok so we've got 3 negatives so we are going to end up with a negative 5 times 9 is going to give us a 45 and then 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 that should be 64 and then multiply by 1 over 6 <laughs> so we can just go on and multiply 64 by 6 4 times 6 is 24 6 times 6 is 56 plus 2 88 so 384 negative 5 over 384. That's why I can end for this coefficient. Okay, hopefully, you now understand how to evaluate the binomial coefficients in such a case.